Rapper by Aunt Charlie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious New Orleans hot sausage po' boy. A po' boy is a traditional sandwich from Louisiana, and it usually consists of any type of meat such as Louisiana hot sausage, a one-of-a-kind hot sausage made only in Louisiana, beef, pork, or chicken, and it's also made with any type of fried seafood such as shrimp, catfish, crawfish, soft shell crabs, and oysters. And it is typically served on a baguette style French bread. A pouvoir can be served either hot or cold and is usually dressed with lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayonnaise, ketchup. Mustard is more associated with the non-seafood pouvoirs. Okay, so you can probably add mustard on this if you like. It's totally optional. And some po' boys call for you to pour gravy on top of it. And also, some people like to add hot sauce onto their po' boys as well. And this po' boy is often served with french fries. Now, down where I'm from in New Orleans, the hot sausage po' boy is the number one po' boy, if not one of the very best po' boys in New Orleans. If you haven't had a hot sausage po' boy, then you haven't had a po' boy. The reason why this po' boy is so special and so famous is because it is made with a one-of-a-kind type of meat made only in Louisiana. Hot sausage. Louisiana hot sausage made by Pat's. You cannot substitute this with anything. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called a hot sausage po' boy. Simple as that. And today I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to make this delicious, popular, one-of-a-kind New Orleans po' boy. So let's get started. Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your hot sausage po' boy. And we're going to get started with our ingredients. You're going to need some Louisiana hot sausage patties. I'm going to show you how it looks. Now, it is very important that you have this for this recipe and the reason why I'm saying this is because this is a one-of-a-kind hot sausage made only in Louisiana and it's made by only one brand, Patton's. You cannot substitute this with any other type of sausage that you may have had or you thought you may have had. If you cannot find this in your area, check out the links in the description box and it will show you how to purchase this. If you cannot find this at all, then you're not going to be able to make this recipe, okay? Alright, and to dress our hot sausage po' boy, you're going to need some romaine lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard is optional, and you're also going to need some American cheese for this recipe. Now, as for me, I like to have uh, cheese on my hot sausage po' boy, okay? And as, as a special bonus, you're going to need some shoestring french fries and some salt because we will be making some fries to go on the side, okay? And for our french bread, you're going to need some New Orleans french bread. And this is how it looks. This french bread is served in all types of popular restaurants and po' boy shops down in New Orleans. Okay. Now, one last time. One of a kind hot sausage made only in Louisiana. One brand, patents. No substitutions, no exceptions. If you can't find this, you will not be able to make this recipe. Okay. And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. We're going to get started by um, cutting out the stem and we're just cutting along the sides of the stem and once you're finished you're going to discard the stem and you're going to take the uh, romaine lettuce leaves and going to pile them on top of each other and we're going to chop that up and this is how it's going to look when we're done we're going to place uh, our romaine lettuce into a strainer and we're going to rinse it off real good with cold water You're going to rinse off one large tomato. We're going to cut a few slices of the tomato. You can cut them thin or thick. Here I have a French bread. We're going to cut down or horizontally on one side. 
and we're going to cut down horizontally on the other side. Now we have a 12 inch, that's a foot long piece of French bread. Now we're going to cut down the center going all the way down the length of the French bread and that's how it's going to look on the inside. Here I have a hot sausage patty and we're going to take it and we're going to cut it in half and you're going to cut about five of these patties all together and as you can see there's a bigger side and a smaller side. Okay and you're going to need about eight pieces of this patty for this recipe and as you can see there's some leftover pieces from the patties and we're going to just take those leftover pieces and we're going to put them together and that will be a extra patty. Let's get started. We're going to preheat our fire to medium high heat. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add our hot sausage patties. And we're going to let these fry for about three to four minutes. Been about three to four minutes now. We're going to go ahead and flip our patties over to the other side. And this will take about two to three minutes. It's been about two to three minutes now and our hot sausage patties are now done. We're going to go ahead and turn our fire off. We're going to remove our patties. And we're going to place those into a serving dish with napkins lined underneath it. And remember you're going to do about eight of these all together. And optional, if you want to take a piece of cheese, you can add that onto your patties as well. This is optional. I'm going to go ahead and brush some butter onto our French bread. And I'm using unsalted butter, but you can use salted butter if you like. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. We're going to place our French bread onto our baking dish. Now it's ready to be baked. We're going to place this into a preheated 400 degree oven. And we're going to bake this for about 5 minutes. Once your 5 minutes is up, you're going to remove your French bread out of the oven. Now we're going to go ahead and flip this over and this is how it's going to look when we're done. Now here we have some french fries in a medium size bowl. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little salt on top of that and we're going to toss that around. Get that salt nice and coated on those french fries. We're going to add that onto our baking dish and we're going to spread the fries around the baking dish as evenly as possible. Now it's ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 400 degree oven and we're going to bake this for about 10 minutes. After your 10 minutes is up, you're going to remove your fries out of the oven. Now let's dress our po' boy. We're going to get started by adding our hot sausage patties onto our French bread. I'm going to add about four of them on the bottom. Now we're going to add our American cheese on top. That's about four half slices of American cheese that we're adding on top. Now we're going to add the next four pieces of hot sausage patties on top of the cheese. Now we're going to add about four more half slices of American cheese on top of our hot sausage patties. We're going to take this and place this onto our baking dish. We're going to place this into a preheated 400 degree oven. Let it sit for about three to four minutes so that way the cheese can melt. And after three to four minutes, you're going to remove it out of the oven. Now let's dress our hot sausage po' boy. We're going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise on top of our French bread. We're going to spread that mayonnaise on top of the French bread best way you can. Now we're going to go ahead and add our ketchup, followed by our lettuce, our tomato, And we're going to add our pickles. And this is how it looks when we're done. Look at how beautiful that looks. And we also have our french fries to go on the side. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hot Sausage Po' Boy. A one-of-a-kind po' boy made by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching. Now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, so excited. Right y'all, here goes nothing. Mmm. Man, I'm telling you. 
that flavor of that Louisiana hot sausage, one of a kind, made only in Louisiana, just amazing. It has a nice spicy flavor to it. It's just nothing like it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, if you haven't had a hot sausage po' boy, and if you cannot find that patent Louisiana hot sausage in your area, then you need to come to New Orleans to try it because it is Ooh. and there you have it ladies and gentlemen hot sausage po' boy made by a New Orleans native thanks for watching now I'm gonna go ahead and take another bite mm -hmm. mm. Nothing like New Orleans food. Nothing like it. Hey y'all, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. You can also contact me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash charliethecookandrews. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliethecookandrews.webs.com And if you want to donate to the channel, check out the links in the description box and it will take you step by step on how to donate. So, until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye bye.